Okay. Hey guys, it is summer. I slept through spring. Last video release was in winter. So here we are. Come on, let's take a look. Now you know it's my car. So if you guys see me on the road, say hi. Look for this and you'll know it's my car. But actually, you know what? I'm here to wash the car today. So sorry you guys missed a chance. I'm gonna be washing the car, so come follow me. I did the car wash video like two, three videos ago, was it? Let's say yes. Okay. I had another bucket here, right? That's where I left like another bucket here. Canadian Tire. This is still wet. Gross. How's that still wet? Did my brother use it? Everything is dry except this. What the frick? Let's go. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be recording a video. Um, I'm gonna be coating the car. I had it coated, was it last year? Like almost a year ago exactly. And when I was having the problems with the Dyn and Tune, the guys at Performance One had to recode the whole car. They updated the iDrive system and I lost all of it. So it's been a year since I've coated the car and I'm gonna be doing that with this. This is the V-Gate Wi-Fi OBD2 accessory device thing. And it plugs into the OBD2 port in the car. So let's go around. So it goes under here. Oh, it's so dirty inside. And it, um, let me quickly get the camera. See if I can actually show it on camera. You know what? You're just gonna have to trust me that it's under there. Open the Beamer Code app and press connect. You should choose the device properly and it should be a two series, press connect. So one of the features I want to code is the comfort access stuff um, having to do with the windows and the moonroof. Okay, so when you press and hold the unlock button. Nope. All right, so many times I've left stuff open and it's kind of frustrating not being able to close everything. So normally what I'd want to do is press and hold the lock button to get that to happen. So I'm holding it now. and nothing's happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna code that feature in where I can close everything, including the moon roof, when I press and hold this. So to do that, I'm gonna be going to where I think it is. So that's gonna be in the front electronic module. There's a bunch of settings here, but the ones I'm interested in, we can go in order here. So, so it's gonna be mostly the comfort opening and closing and I'm gonna be looking at this, so that's active, that's fine. So this is not active. I'm gonna to wanna to change that to active. And this is active already. And there you go, okay, I just wanna check here just before I go. So what you wanna probably do is when you're coding this, go into each one and then do all the settings you wanna do in like the French electronic module and just press code from there and do everything one by one. All right, so I guess another one you wanna do is the mirrors. It, which is the fold and unfold automatically. That's active. Unfold, uncomfort opening. That's already active. Fold, comfort closing. That's not active, so what's going on? It changes automatically when I click in. Crazy. I want to increase this a little bit, maybe one second. So what I increased there was a bootlet opening delay. That's me pressing and holding the button for one second as opposed to 0.5 seconds. Might make a difference. You know what, let's try coding this for now, see what happens. So here we go. All right, so now that I've coded it, when I press the button, and keep holding it, the moon roof will close. Mirrors folded and that's it. Car's all done, ready to be tucked away. 
So this closed, the other side closed, this closed, this folded. Perfect. So now that the car is all coated up, I want to show a couple of the external features. So when I press the lock button, that's all it does. So it folds the mirror. Now when I unlock, it unfolds the mirror. Now a couple cool things about this is depending on how long I hold the little comfort access button here, that will affect the side mirror, whether it folds or not. So if I just press it once, it won't do anything. But if I press and hold, it'll fold the mirror. To enable video in motion, you actually have to follow the instructions here, which is to hold the iDrive button forward and hold it for a while. How's it? Wait, uh, car forward. Until the process is complete, essentially. So let's go ahead and try it out. So it's activating. So looking at the screen, select speed lock. Normal speed lock function and deactivate speed lock. Okay, so deactivate. So I confirm that I'm deactivating the speed lock for test purposes only and not as a permanent setting. The test mode is activated for this key only. Okay, so now I press done. Done. So let's put on something. So now here's the video. Does it work in motion? Uh, so far it is. Not really moving much though. Oh well, it works. All right, I want to test the alarm systems. There's three different alarm systems. There is Great Britain, USA, and Europe. So right now I assume it's on the USA setting, so I'm gonna activate the alarm. So that's the alarm, and I'm gonna try to code the other ones and see what they sound like. All right, so the Great Britain and the Europe one will sound like this. Sounds like the sound that you get when you lock the car in there. Kind of. Kind of. Alright, so the next thing I'm coding here is a digital speedo. There's not much else going on here. Uh, here's the rest of the menu, just in case you're curious what else you can do. Oh, looks like we have some time to kill here, but... Yeah, so I kind of dropped the ball there. Um, <laughs> Kind of funny, hey? When you think of recording, actually, it's the opposite where you press record and you actually stopped recording. And uh, you press record and you thought you stopped and you actually are recording. So here we are. Um, I think uh, it's going on here. Now you're just going to enjoy my voice. And I'll just talk really softly like this. And I'll just be whispering right into your ear. Uh, buzz, 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 buzz. Anyone who gets that joke, uh, I don't know if you guys watch the show, but I just threw it out there. Anyway, um, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, so these are the changes you can see in the dash. Congrats, you now got a digital speedo. All right, so here are three other things I did. I decided to do them all together since these are smaller changes that don't really need a full demo. Uh, here's a quick clip I was able to take of the warning chime. It's quick, so you're really gonna have to listen for it to hear the difference. The start animation, I'm having trouble capturing on video because it just happened so fast and you're not even in the car yet but it's already like zooming right by you and uh, you're just gonna have to trust me that it is different. With the sport displays, there really isn't much difference other than the color change. Personally, I think the original one suits the instrument cluster better but I just want to show you the difference here. Alright, so that's pretty much it for coding the car. Let me know what else you guys do with yours, because I pretty much found all the features that I'd be interested in. Um, I think the most, the coolest ones definitely is the comfort access feature with, you know, how this all works. Like, I wish I did that, like, stock with the car. That would have been way better. But it's nice that we have the option. Um, so what it cost me to get that device was about 30 bucks and then you have to buy the the full version of the Beamer Code app and that's it and you're able to code almost any, well I think any car um, that you own. So it's universal, you can take it around, consider it an investment because if you have some cars in the future that you want to code, you can definitely use this as well. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Thanks for watching.